In this video I would like to speak a little about meditation. Everybody's pretty much agreed that meditation is a good thing. It helps to clear your mind, it's good against stress, it even reduces violent crime. But what is it exactly to meditate? And here we actually have a very big difference of opinion. Um, if you look at more or less the Western approach, uh, how Europeans and Americans look at meditation, um, it's very different from the Asian approach. If you um, ask a Westerner what is it to meditate or meditate on something, then they will usually say, okay, I think about something, I think about different aspects of something. So for them it is a very much um, analytical uh, process of yeah, cutting things into little segments which are small enough to fit into our consciousness and then examining it. So it is kind of a process of deconstruction and trying to reconstruct a model of things to get a comprehension of things. If you look at the Asian approach, meditation is basically like meeting somebody, getting to know somebody. And to get to know somebody, of course, the mind is involved, thoughts are involved, like, okay, who is this person, what are they doing, what are they saying, why are they saying it in such a way, why are they behaving in such a way. But there's a lot more to it. Meditation isn't limited to only the head or the thoughts. Meditation is actually using all the senses. So if you get to know somebody, you get to know their, their smell, their feel, how it is to be around them, the atmosphere they create, um, the openings they have for conversation, but also the things which are more or less closed. And it's also an emotional process. Do you like them? Do you dislike them? It's not just a mental process. So the oriental method of meditation involves more experiencing with the entirety of your being. And that also means that the entirety of your being has to be in a way clear as glass to have such a clear perception. It's not just a mental discipline where you try to not to um, be disturbed uh, by your thoughts or not to have them intrude upon your logical analysis, which would happen in a more Western meditation. So there are many forms of meditation. Um, some forms are very dynamic, so you can meditate in form of you know, dancing, in form of cleaning, in form of performing art or uh, singing. Um, you can also have mantra meditation or prayer meditation, where you repeat a certain phrase again and again. Um, you can meditate on postures, shamanic postures or yoga postures, uh, martial arts postures. You can meditate while sitting, while lying down. And all of these different forms have advantages and disadvantages. And usually these different forms arose to deal with very specific problems, which might be disrupting meditations. And this is what is the topic of the uh, following videos, because many people want to meditate, they try to meditate, they might even think they are meditating, but they are not getting the expected benefits. Because meditation is a skill, it's an art, you have to practice it and you have to become better at it. And it's kind of a vague topic, people will just say meditate, but yeah, Many people won't know how to meditate exactly or what meditation is. It's not very clearly defined. It's not something you learn in school or where another person can tell you what you're doing right or what you're doing wrong because what is happening is an internal process. So it's very hard to get good guidance in that, which is why I've made the coming videos to talk a little bit about typical obstacles and different ways to overcome them. So. Enjoy the upcoming videos and enjoy your meditation.